So how's it going everyone? You can see we're in a different setting here. The car is at the fab shop, like I said. It is here at Eric Gannon's shop. This is pretty cool. I dropped it off yesterday. We went over the game plan. We have quite a few things to do on it and I'll, I'll kind of walk through those right now, but I'll show you what he has done. It looks fantastic. So to start out, there was a crossbar that went through here and it didn't allow the rear end to drop all the way when we put the new rear end in. We had to change some things and it's kind of a quick fix, more of a patch job. And uh, it is fixed now and I'll show you guys that. You can see that bar comes here and instead of running out that way like before, it runs parallel with the fuel tank mount and the battery mount back there. So now the rear end can drop as far down as possible and it's actually pushed back more so the rear plate has a little bit more room to change gears. And that's super nice. From what we had, it was kind of a struggle. It was kind of a pain to get that stuff changed. So now we'll be able to change the gears even quicker if we have to. He did fix this part and you'll see on the right rear when we had the rear end knocked out in Marysville, it bent the frame rail and we finished the year out on it. And so we barely made it through tech in Marysville. They said it was too far out, but they understood it was bent and broke. So he put in a new link here, super strong diamond up, looks really good. Now it's straight so we can adjust how we need to back here. Going over some Zeus stuff. Hopefully you're gonna be able to put a new body in. That's what that sheet of aluminum is for. For the interior panels, it's gonna be lighter and we'll be able to Zeus those in and out for maintenance and washing and all that good stuff. We got the seat strap welded in right there. And this is the big problem right here. This is what we need to fix. So obviously, if you remember, in the fast dash at Marysville, the controller for the power steering fell and fell below my throttle pedal and wouldn't let me go full throttle. So that was kind of a pain. Well, the steering too has always been loose. Um, it's never been mounted correctly. Check this out. I mean, let's see, you guys really need to, I mean, you can see how loose that is. That is not good at all. It doesn't feel good to steer. I can't believe I've raced with it as long as I have. So we need to fix that, mount it in properly, take the rack and pinion down here, move it over so we can drop the motor lower, and then brace that plate up because that plate actually bends when you hit too hard on the front end. So just kind of some stupid little things that should have been done a long time ago, but uh, finally we have the car stripped all the way down. Gonna get it fabbed up go to powder coat and get her all cleaned up. So we got to drop her down still, like I said, clean up that stuff, take those mounts, make it so we can drop it lower. That'll give us more clearance on the drive line. And then in here, we have to kind of just clean up. Some of these tabs are bent. We got these tabs are all good in here and whatnot, but Got to clean up all the Zeus tabs, maybe add some over there to add some extra paneling. Um, that's going to be really nice. Nerf bars, all of these go directly in, except on this car you have one that's diagonal. We're going to take another piece of tubing, put it right here where he's cleaned up. That makes it like this so we can take our Nerf bars and slide them right in. That way we can run the old style Nerf bars and new Nerf bars that we fab up. It's going to be a lot easier to build them. After that, like I said, we have this new piece of aluminum here. We're gonna redo all the interior panels, take the old dash that's over there, build a new dash, and have it all cleaned up. So it's gonna look really good. I haven't decided yet if we're going to wrap this yet or kind of just leave it standard how it is. I think we might wrap it kind of just to clean it up a little bit more, but uh, lots of stuff going on here. Super excited, 2024 is well underway as we're getting ready to wrap up 2023 with a few days left. The good news is the car is in the fab shop. The other good news is I think I'll be going to Chili Bowl. We haven't finalized any of that yet. I gotta go start stacking pennies to get there. But uh, yeah, I'll be going to Chili Bowl with Tanner if I do to film him and hang out. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're watching shootout right now. A lot of our friends are there racing, so good luck to them as we uh, continue to get ready here. With that said, I'll update you guys later on probably the first day going to Chili Bowl.